All right, and welcome to Rin Reads. Um, apologies in advance, my dog is being ridiculous and I cannot guarantee that he won't pop into this video. Um, so, super excited to do a Sweet Valley Junior High. Oh, there he is. Um, so excited. This is one that I remember when the first book came out. Like this came out during my, you know, like during my reading days. So, like all of the Sweet Valley Twins, a lot of them came out before I was really kind of at that reading level. And so, you know, when I started, there was already like a huge back catalog that I had to either try and find, catch up on, library, bookstores, whatever. Um, with Sweet Valley Junior High, I was able to pick them up as they came out. And um, that was super awesome. It was really cool to be able to like pick them up as they released. Um, unfortunately, I made really bad decisions in my life at some point and decided to get rid of my whole Sweet Valley collection. So I am trying to find Junior High, but because it's a newer series, I don't think it had as many editions printed as you know the back catalog of Sweet Valley Twins did. So it's harder to find. Like so far I've only found one book. Whereas I found like a mountain of other Sweet Valley books. So Junior High is obviously not hugely out there. Um, so I don't have book one, I just have book four. But um, I forgot about like some of the different things that they did in this. So um, with Sweet Valley Junior High, they decided to give each chapter to a character. So each character would have their own chapter in which they would voice, it would be their point of view, their inner thoughts, which was kind of cool. Um, the Sweet Valley Twin books did that, but it was more from like an omniscient um, narrator that would just kind of like drift in between characters. Whereas this, it was very set, like the beginning of the chapter was this person and we followed them until the next chapter where it was now someone else. Um, I forgot about the new characters, so there was chapters with um, Salvador and Anna, and I had forgotten about them. I'd forgotten about their um, kind of storyline. I forgot how much I enjoyed Salvador. Um, so yeah, Anna, so far I'm still not a huge fan of. Um, I don't know why, but just in this book, the character rubbed me the wrong way. Um, so, you know, like not to say that I don't like her at all, just in this book, she, was like she was getting mad at Elizabeth for things that Elizabeth didn't know about and she never stopped to explain them to Elizabeth which I don't think was really fair because Elizabeth didn't know exactly what was going on and yet she's judging her about those things um but at the same time it's a very junior high mentality especially the Oh, I like him, but she doesn't know I like him, but now I think that he likes her, and oh, I think they're getting together. Wah. So, um, not my favorite character so far. I'm hoping to get more junior high books to um, kind of hopefully round out my feelings of Anna. Um, with Jessica, it's kind of classic Jessica. Parents are going away, she's gonna throw a party. Um, what I found with this book is, it kind of makes all of the Sweet Valley Middle School kids shine in a bad light. Wow. Like they literally are just like, oh, you're going to a new school, but bye, we're not friends anymore. And um, that kind of made me sad because, you know, we spent hundreds of books getting to know Amy and Lila and Ellen and, all of them and here they can't even give Jessica and Elizabeth the time of day or when they do they're really kind of sassy about it so um, it was kind of different seeing the middle school kids in that light but I understand that they're trying to transition from those characters into the new characters um, so I mean I get it so yeah basically as I said Jessica's throwing a party her parents don't know about it um, it gets out of hand, obviously, and 
Jessica, surprisingly, becomes the right. responsible one who shuts it down. And so, you know, it was kind of neat to see that Jessica character growth. Um, it's really weird for Jessica to feel out of place and unpopular at her new school, especially because she was the popular girl in the past. So, you know, it is a different view of Jessica that, you know, we're not really accustomed to. Um, another thing that I really enjoy about this series is not only are the chapters through different characters, um, they kind of have like other things in it. like. Um, they have Anna's poem, kind of at the end of a chapter, going into an Anna chapter. Um, and then there's this one where they're doing the details of the party. And it, let's see if I can find it. Okay, so it's really cool where they have a timestamp and then like a little blurb about what's going on during that timestamp at the party. And so I thought that that was kind of like a unique thing that the twins didn't do. So. They really tried to do a modern take with these books, try to bring in some new different types of writing, which, I mean, is good. Um, one thing that makes me really sad about the Junior High series, they didn't get um, any super editions, magna editions, super chillers, super thrillers. Um, they didn't get any of those kind of added books to their series, which I think is really sad because those were my favorite books in the other series like not to say that I didn't like the regular ones but like I mean super chillers man in Sweet Valley Twins those were my jam like I loved the super chillers oh hi little Percy so overall I love the junior high series um, like I said I just wish they had those special edition books um, but there's something nostalgic about the fact that I was able to read them as they came out. Um, do I think that they're better? No. Um, and I think in some ways they changed the characters. And I don't completely agree with all of the changes that they made. But overall, I love the books. And there are characters I love. So it's a thumbs up for me. I'm really hoping that I can track down more of the Sweet Valley Junior High. So fingers crossed I come upon some more because I would really love to get more into the junior high world. All right. Anyways, thanks for joining me again. Have a good day.